that these animals attack a human being, but you don't do this to anybody, to any human being, not even to an animal. Now at six, a father speaking out after his son was brutally beaten while canvassing for Republican Senator Marco Rubio. There's no reason for anybody, anybody, to have to undergo this physical damage just because of what party they're in. Tonight, that father insists that the violence against his controversial son was politically motivated. CBS4 is live with his message to his son's accused attackers. We're live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. We're hearing from Christopher Monzon's father on the heels of a second arrest related to the attack. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from West Miami Dade with the exclusive interview. And Peter, what did Monzon's father have to say? Well, Lorna and Elliot, the father of Christopher Monzon, tells us he believes the attack on his son was politically motivated. In fact, that's what Monzon told police as well. Now that father is worried about his son's eyesight. His right eye is totally just about destroyed. Uh, he might have to have surgery in the right eye. Christopher Monzon's father tells me his son could have lost his life after being brutally attacked. A little bit more. We'd be lighting up candles and, and he would be gone. But thank the Lord, but this didn't go that far. Monzon told police that these two men, Jonathan Casanova and Javier Lopez, told him he could not walk down a Hialeah sidewalk because he was a Republican. Uh, there's no reason for anybody, anybody, to have to undergo this physical damage just because of, of what party they're in. Based on victim statement, he did say that no Republicans can walk in this neighborhood. Monzon was wearing a campaign t-shirt for Senator Marco Rubio when attacked. Rubio called the suspects thugs. Indeed I do, and I, I look at it as a hate crime, and, and, I, and I don't look at it a, as aggravated assault. I look at it as attempted murder. Police said Lopez pushed Monzon to the ground and punched him. They also said Casanova kicked Monzon in the head and told his two German shepherds to attack him. I feel like what they did is, is a cowardly act, and uh, this did not happen to any human being. In court, bond was set at $7,500 for Casanova. You're free to go. Just stay away Thank from you, the victim. Good day, sir. Thank you. God bless. There are reports that Monzon had ties to white supremacy groups, including the Proud Boys. He was arrested in 2017 after getting heated at this protest in Hollywood about changing the names of streets that honored Confederate generals. His father, though, says he has a good heart. My son is a, is a decent, honest human being that helps out people in the, in, in the groceries. He helps elderly people take their groceries to the cars. He, he goes to church on Sundays. Now, we asked Monzon's father about one report in the New York Times that his son had ties to the Proud Boys. The father told me he did not want to comment about that. Hialeah police say the suspects are friends or charged with aggravated battery, and they were ordered to have no contact whatsoever with the victim. We are live in West Miami-Dade. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.